In this brief tutorial, we are going to create two slideshows from scratch and then rearrange some of the slides within the slideshow. And to do that, we're going to start a new project. So let's just go over to Encore here and double click on it and get this thing rolling. We'll start a new project by clicking on the New Project button. We'll give it a name. We'll call it the New Slideshows. And I'm going to put it here inside the My Encore Exercises folder just to make sure I don't cover up anything in the Working Files folder. And we'll take the default DVD, and if you're NTSC or PAL, that's up to you, and click OK. Now we have this blank slate. Now there are a couple of ways to make slideshows. You can do the sort of manual method just by bringing in some assets, or you can use the create a slideshow process when you import some assets. So we'll start by just importing assets and creating a slideshow from that, and then we'll do the import as a slideshow thing second. So just double click anywhere inside the project panel when you want to bring stuff in just as assets. Just double click there to do that. And I'm going to go to the Working Files folder like that and go into the Party Life Assets folder. And I've got two sets of stills here, this Production Stills and the Storyboard Stills. So I'm going to open up the Production Stills folder. 35 shots here. I'll click on the first one, scroll down, and shift click on the last one to select all 35 of them, and then click Open. That just brings in 35 JPEG images right there. If you click on one of them, you can see it there in the preview panel. Just a still image like so. I want to put those guys in a folder so we can kind of organize things a little better. So I'm going to click down here on the Create a New Item icon and select Folder. I'm going to call this one Production Stills. I'll call it a slideshow as well because that's where we're going with this. Okay. Now we've created that folder, but they're not in the folder. So I'm going to select the first one. Scroll down and shift click on the last one. I want to drag them all into the folder, except I have the folder selected as part of this process. So you can't drag stuff into the thing that's selected to get that little no sign. So you need to deselect this guy. So I'm just going to control or command click on that to deselect it. And now when I drag these guys in by clicking on the icon or the name and then dragging it down here, I can put them all inside that folder. And there they are, 35 slides inside that folder. Now I want to turn them into a slideshow. So now I need to click on the first one and then shift click on the last one. There we go. And now I'm going to right click the icon and say new slideshow. And it'll name the slideshow behind the scenes because behind the scenes is the first image here alphabetically. So it names the slideshow automatically behind the scenes. You can see it there, a little purple icon telling you that's the slideshow. Let's just right click on this guy and rename it. So right click and say rename. We'll call it Production Stills Slideshow. And that changes the name there, and it changes the name here in this little drop-down list. Of course, it's the only name inside the drop-down list now. Let's make a new slideshow, and I'm going to close this guy to kind of get things out of the way. I'm going to make a new slideshow by importing assets as a slideshow. But before I do that, to kind of save a little time down the road, I'm going to make a new folder. So I'm going to go down here, create a new item, folder. We'll call this one Storyboards Slideshow. And if I have it active by right-clicking on it, and then say Import As, anything I import will be stored inside that folder. So Import As Slideshow. I'm going to back up a notch here to the Storyboards folder. Click on the first one and Shift-click on the last one, all 19 of these guys, and click Open. And that'll bring in 19 files, put them all inside the Storyboards Slideshow folder, and we'll create a new slideshow, this little purple guy here. Let's rename the slideshow by right-clicking on it and say, let's call this one Storyboards Slideshow. Now we've got these two slideshows, and when you have two slideshows, they'll both be inside the same tab here. If you click this little drop-down area, you see you have two slideshows, Production Stills there and the Storyboard Slideshow. The reason for that is how your preferences were probably set. You might have changed them, but if you went with the default settings, then your preferences look something like this. Go to Edit or Encore Preferences. Go to Appearance, and here in the Viewers, if you have slideshows unchecked, that means you will not have a separate viewer for all your slideshows, meaning that every slideshow will be stored in one tab, and you'll have a drop-down list for all the slideshows whereas timelines are separated into different tabs. So that's the default thing, and that's fine. I think it's a good thing to do that, so we'll just cancel out of this. One tab with two slideshows inside it. Let's stick with the storyboards for now, because I want to rearrange them a bit. Now, you really can't see the names of these files here, but you can see the duration. If I click on one, and I go to the Slides Properties, you'll see that it's 1-0 Dancing Begins. Now, again, on Mac, it might be just one, and it might be the original slide that was number one, but here it's number 10, and so 
So this is actually probably 11 and 12 and all the way down through the 19 if I scroll down here a bit. So I want to put all of those guys after the end of this project. I want to put them all down here. Select the first one. I'm going to shift click on this 10th one there. I'm going to drag them all down here. Now it's kind of crowded here. The real estate's kind of minimized here because of the way my resolution is set. So I'm going to open things up a bit by clicking this little arrow here and that closes the audio section and increases the view here. That still isn't quite what I want to see, so I'm going to expand the view by just dragging this guy up. You can always kind of rearrange things like this. Now I want to take all 10 of these guys and move them down here. Now if I click outside of the slide, that'll deselect them. Not a good thing. So I'm going to click on this again and shift click down here inside the slide. But if I click and drag from inside a slide, then I'll be able to hang on to all 10 of these guys and move them down here. Now notice the little black bar that appears there. That says this is where you're going to put all 10 of these guys. So there they go. So now they're in the proper order. Here's slide 1, 2, 3, etc., etc. And here's 9. The next one should be 10, which is good. Now they're in order. Even if I don't want to put them numerically in order, I could always take one slide and move it around. And see the little black bar that appears there? I think it might be more obvious if we use the other slideshow. So I'll go over here to the production still slideshow. And if I want to, let's say, have this blue slide be first, I need to make sure I click inside the slide itself. If I click outside here, I'm actually selecting the entire slideshow. This is how you can select a slide or the slideshow. If you click inside the slide, that selects the slide. If you click outside the slide, that selects the entire slideshow. When you look over here in the properties panel, notice it says slideshow here. I click a slide and it says slide. So I want to move this blue slide by dragging it to the beginning, let's say. There you go. I've got these two green screens side by side, so I might want to separate them a bit by moving something like that. So it's fairly easy to rearrange things here. And you can get more real estate by you know, expanding the view, by dragging this little parallel line between the panels, or by clicking this little guy here to close the audio side of things. So that, folks, is how you create slideshows from scratch. There are obviously more things we can do, including adding audio and transitions and zooms and pans, things like that. And we'll do that in the upcoming tutorials.